Ace Poison. A game by Zach Harmon. Gong Bat! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to Alpha Beta Omega, a series where I dedicate one video to playing one game for maybe the first time, maybe the second time, maybe the fifth time. I play games that have yet to come out, or are new, or have stayed afloat on the sea of popularity long enough to be considered a classic. And today, I am playing the indie game Gong Bat. It's created by Zach Harmon, a 17-year-old indie developer, and I immediately perked up when I heard his age, because I am also 17, and I am also doing entrepreneurial things. This is a side-scroller shooter that, as you can see, does not really follow the general consensus of HD graphics, which is not a bad thing. Uh, let's see, I did this, and then the, uh, it, the game actually froze for some reason, which is weird, because I did test it out, and it didn't freeze before, but whatever. Let's just actually do this this, this, so you can hear the awesome noise of the record scratch. Now, let's start a new game and act like all that didn't happen. I can sign into Game Jolt once again, or I didn't say that. It is free on Game Jolt. It's not a Steam game, which is a first for this series. Uh, it is Game Jolt, though you can register it with Steam. Let's see, we can go into options, see what those have to do for us. Full screen, nothing much. Okay, well, let's proceed. Now, let's go into the story, since that's why we are here, after all, you know, right? Right? We're supposed to be here for the story, so let's jump into the story. Or the tutorial. I want to find out why I am actually here, and why I'm controlling a weird red bat flying amongst the stars. Press Z. Welcome to Gong Bat. The name's Bond. James Bond. Or, you know, just the narrator. I'll be your guide today. Let's see here. Some basic procedures. Okay, rule one. Please keep all wings and instruments in the vehicle. Aw, oh, forget this. Just start moving so I know you're paying attention. I'm moving. Are you happy did I win? Good, good. Now let's talk about your bad breath. Seeing as you're a bat and have terrible choice in women, or poor eyesight, you have to use echolocation, and you have to use echolocation, and gong bat makes no sense so we can blow things up with it. Try it on, on this baddie. So by pressing Z, I can shoot the ghosty baddie, which would do no damage otherwise. Rad, but that's not all you can do. You have the power of sound at your disposal. When in the presence of a ringing gong, you strangely gain new abilities and shapeshift. The best part is, different gongs give you different powers. Be prepared to use this strategically against your foes, as you can only use a gong within a certain amount of time. Uh, here, give it a go. First, select a gong by holding C. C, okay. Now, ring that sucker and bask in glory with X. And we get an achievement, Sound of Victory. You'll start out with only one gong, but I'm sure you'll find out you'll find more. Seems like you've got a grasp on things. Now, let's give you some more training. Oh, there are more en enemies. Let's kill them. Kill the enemies. I have no clue what this power-up does, though it makes me look amazing. Now you're just showing off. Don't get too crazy. You have a pretty small health bar. Pay close attention to it in the bottom right corner. Fear not though, player. Biology has made leaps and bounds. After defeating enemies, you'll begin collecting cells. Use the pause menu, enter, to upgrade your stats and more. Okay, enter. And upgrade, so I can upgrade my health, or <laughs> nothing else because the game had me exit it. A wise man once said, Max out all your upgrades if things get tough. And that's all the handbook says. Get out there and make daddy proud. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. Very simple. Let's jump into the caverns, I guess. With a cutscene. Okay. Oh, I can progress this. Deep within the Arduras ca Caverns, there is said to be a species of bat. A creature of radness who woos females everywhere. They call it the Gong Bat. Sources tell me it's powerful, and according to legend, it draws its energy from sound. Seems like I find my found myself a new battery. <laughs> okay, that's it. So we're ju we're jumping into the level ambush. Okay, uh, sure, ambushes are a thing. Whoa, avoid the things. Whoa, 
Okay, this is kind of throwing me into things, but whatever. Ambush. That's surprising. Was that not supposed to happen? I don't know. Maybe ambushes happen at random times, which would make sense if they're supposed to surprise you. Okay, let's... Hopefully I'm doing enough damage to this thing. Maybe it has a weakness that I can exploit? Doesn't seem to be... The answer doesn't seem to be yes. It just seems to be shoot the thing while it's while you can. Okay, this is kind of hard. Oh, it's dead. Okay. And I got cells from that. Okay. It's kind of hard to see myself against the background, but I am indeed there, and I need to pay attention so I don't get hit by the thingies. Like that. Magical floating rock thing. I, I love how there's, like, no explanation for what I'm doing, which is good, because that's how most, uh, most, like, any SNES games are. I mean, really, they're just like, fight, dog! So it makes sense. It kind of, it, it kind of holds true to the traditions, yo. Okay, now I'm fighting two rocks. Uh, what happens if I transform? I'm not actually sure if I'm doing more damage or if I'm taking less damage, but I like to feel like I'm doing something cool. Uh, Cast Castactyl. Oh, so a boss. Ooh, I'm taking damage from this boss. My plan is to not die, which might be a little bit harder than it seems. Okay. I'm doing, I'm doing a fair bit of damage, and it is dead. And the more, the more times I kill stuff, the more cells I get, which I can upgrade stuff with those cells. Interesting. So cells are not only a way for me to restore my health, but they're also a way for me to upgrade. Okay, there's the ambushy guy. Run! Or, I guess I'm not running, I'm flying. Whoa! Run! It's really fast. I can't really stop for a second. I always have to pay attention to what's going on. And hit it when I can. I can't shoot backwards, which is unfortunate. I also can't see its health bar like I can the, the bosses. Ow, 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 ow. Pocket full of cells. I'm almost dead. That's not good. I kind of lost my lost myself there. Okay, let's kill this guy. Life form found. Instance is warm-blooded, nocturnal, egotistical, and soon to be dead. Booting Microsoft Badburner, 1995. Terminate. Also, whoa, the songs like. What's his name? The artist. Everybody wants to rule the world. I like that artist. I just always forget his name when I need to remember his name. Also, did I, did I shoot that bomb away? It looks like I did. Oh, I did. That's awesome. I wonder if I'm hurting it with it. Doesn't seem to be, but that's kind of cool that I can explode. Oh, I did. Whoa. That's cool. Wait, where am I? Where am I? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where? Oh, there I am. Okay. 25 seconds. Okay, match these? What? Okay, 25. They're doing that. Taking damage. Uh, and here, I guess. I did it, and the bats are free, since that's my thing. Hey, little batsy. Boss says it's nap time for ya. <laughs> Flying scuba gear man attacks. Everybody wants to rule the world. Okay. I'm doing damage to him. And he's dead. It's very fast paced. Like, you don't really get any chance to stop and say, okay, let me think about my life and what life decisions I'm making about myself. You're just kind of, you're just doing it. I'm like, right now I'm fighting an Easter Island statue. You can't win, little brat. We already rounded up hundreds of your, of your friends, and we're keeping them right under the city a little ways from here. Shut up, man, that's classified. I calm down, just a stupid bat. That stupid bat just ripped our cavalry a new one. Now end him before Boss finds out about this. Yeah, that's that's right. I'll rule the world. Like seriously, this song this song sounds a lot like Curse Smith. That's his name. I remembered. Yay, Curse Smith. I, I like him. He he's a good singer. I don't listen to much of his stuff, but I I get it where I can. It looks like someone has been locking other odorous bats up. Luckily, I think you can crack their codes and empty their cages. It's just a motion sensor system. You have to match a few patterns. Seems easy enough, but as soon as I, er, you, get your hands on whoever is doing this, intense smack talk. Yeah, buddy. Rawr. Gegasaur. There I am. It's very easy to lose yourself in this level, it seems. 
Because, like, the entire background is sticking red, and you're red, so you can't see yourself. You're also not bright. Okay, just juke the man. Juke him. Juke the man. And, sure, I'll upgrade. Why not? I still don't know what doing that does, but it seems cool enough. Where'd he go? Oh, he spawned, he spawned children. Well, let, let me kill his children before they decide that they do actually belong in this world. Good, I got some cells. Actually, you know what? Pause. Let's pause time for a moment here because I could probably upgrade something. Uh, let's... Hmm. Let's upgrade my health with, like, everything because I feel like that would be good. And then, finally, let's upgrade damage. Sure. I kind of want to be a tank. That seems like it'd be cool. Uh, resume. Yeah, I have more health, even though I just lost a bunch of it. As long as I, I stay frosty, I should be able to juke him. And he doesn't seem to have the ability to shoot downwards. Or hit me at all. Carnage! Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing damage to him. I don't think I move as fast in this form, which is problematic, but... Uh, it, it is what it is. Also, I am pretty sure that I do more damage in that form. Okay, let's just stay frosty, get, get some health up here. And, oh wow, he's healing himself while this is going on. That's, that's problem, that's a problem. Okay, let's, let's, let's stop that while he, we can. Dodge. He seems like a bad shot, like, if he tried shooting at the shooting range, I don't think he would do too well. Upgrade. Transform. Ow, I'm about to die, but he just died, okay. Neat. I'm at full health. Feel stronger. Is that what I think it is? Holy smokes, it is! It's another gong! You've acquired the atomic gong. When in use, the ability of teleportation is gained. Double tap to teleport. Your echoes also become electrically charged. Remember to switch gongs by holding C. That's that's cool. Okay, that, that was pretty fun. Um, like, it's it's simple enough that you could just grasp it and instantly jump in, which is what I'm going to do to the, for the scrapyard. Flushed from his home, Gong Bat crawls into daylight, and with a new gong and claw, he takes on the scrapyard. He also gets a jumpsuit for one some unforeseen reason. Let's see, I want the powers of teleportation, so let's switch here while nothing much is going on. I have the powers of Atomic Bat, number 5, because all bats must be named number 5. Ugh. Okay, we have Giant Hand Monster. Giant Hand Monster doesn't seem that tough. He just seems like another one of those <laughs> Bulbasaurs or whatever it was that we fought. Oh hi, you're you're the you're the dude like from Sc Star Wars that fly around on the speeder. Ooh ooh, cage alert! I mean, we'll do the cage alert, but that's not really what I care about. Do that and do this. Actually, touching him doesn't hurt me, which is interesting. Like that's not like most games, and I like that because it doesn't make sense that I would just touch this guy and for some reason take damage. It's like. Oh, I've had you on the back. I now instantly die. Okay, th my my attacks are charged here. Apparently, that's that's pretty cool. You know, my next upgrade, I'll probably upgrade my uh, my bar, my thing. Oh, <laughs> that that is your opinion, and I hope you keep it to yourself, sir. Ow, he's not really keeping anything to himself. He's Phonos is like messing up my face grill. Come on. But luckily, he's, he doesn't... He takes a lot of damage. Oh, wait, did I die? I totally died. I died. I was looking at my health bar. I'm like, he's taking a lot of damage. No, he actually was, and that was me. That was funny. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, I have the powers of time rewindation. So all of that that just happened is, never happened. I never failed him at all. You have no ev video evidence that that happened. Okay, my atomic bar is almost up. Come on. He's almost dead anyway, but still, I kind of want to use my powers on him. Show that teleportation. Oh, I didn't try that. I didn't try the teleportation. That's something that I would look forward to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Enemies. <laughs> I almost died too. Okay, let's, let's do this. Oh, whoa. Look at that. I'm flying. I'm just teleporting everywhere. That is cool. I also have magical powers. Oh, boy. It's a magical flying bus. It's a bus. It's a flying bus. But it's just its just like that normal rock that we fought. So it's not that bad. I'll just shoot it. Oh no, why me? Live animal capture is not what I signed up for. Uh, 
I'm almost up to my second atomic -ness. Let's do that in a second. Actually, no, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. Just pause time here. Uh, and upgrade Gong Charge. Let's do that twice. Yeah, I feel like doing a nice balance between things will be good. Leveling out. Cool, we got an achievement for that. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Are you sure you want to quit? No. Let's just resume. Cage alert. Uh, okay, let's see if I can multitask here. Come on, nope. Oh, I failed it. I failed it. Nah, man. Well, at least I'm doing a lot of damage and I can teleport. Teleport! But I am taking a lot of damage. That's not good. Okay, please die. Please die, sir. And he is dead. Wishbone. Oh boy. Wishbone is not my friend. I want to wish on a wishbone that you wouldn't exist. Ow. Uh, X. Electrical charge. Wow, look at the damage I'm dealing. Look at that. I'm dealing so much damage. Oh wait, there are missiles. There are missiles on the bottom of the screen. Oh boy. Do you see that? They're like these bone spikes that go right there and then they shoot at me. Okay. So I can't stay in one spot for too long without taking damage. Got it. I got it. Just have to keep moving and juke the stuff. And now he's going to die. That wasn't too difficult. Even though I tanked like everything there. Oh, it's a thing. It's a magical toucan bird that's dead. You can die. Checkpoint. Another toucan bird. Oh boy. Yeah, he's almost dead. Whoa. And he's gone. Man, what's with us doing all the dirty work? I, I don't even want to be out here with them pipes overheating. Frank got burnt tossing some of those bats in the cargo earlier. Quit complaining, you sound like my wife. Well, s sadly, your wife is about to become a widow because I, uh, I am aton atomic. Meet my atomic wrath. I'm dealing a lot more damage. And one of them is probably almost dead. Oh boy. Juke the things. A lot of stuff going on screen right now. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. Oh, one of them's dead. Hark, salutations. Let me introduce myself. Uh, the name is Flinto Hawk, the entrepreneur of the high end research division. You may have seen me on TV. Ha, I kid. But I do see you've been giving my boys some type of trouble. I, and I'm not liking that one bit. So if you kindly hand yourself over and be my scrawny little lab rat, we'll have no problem here. Your decision? Alright, boys, bring out the queen! Wait, the queen. Who's the queen? Moscova Bara! Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight the. Whoa! Okay, that's. A lot of stuff com coming out. What is that? That. Oh, whoa! What are these things? Okay, there's fire. There's a lot going on. Let's just turn atomic and make everything right. Deal a lot more damage. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm doing damage, but, like, the queen is not taking any damage at all. Like, look at this. It's... I've been shooting it a solid 30 seconds, and it's... It's barely draining. Okay, well, I think that it's probably good that I, I brought my atomic bar, because then I can activate my... My super, pow super saiyan powers a lot more often. Like that. I dodged most of that stuff. Where am I? Where... Where'd I go? Okay, I'm up there. Okay. Man. This this girl is doing a, a good amount of damage, but she's not taking anything. Sheesh. Okay, let's just dodge that. Dodge, dodge, fire! And do this. This actually kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh... Of Jetpack Joyride, just with some of the attacks that I'm seeing. Of course, then there's that Kurt Smith song. Everybody wants to rule the world. Which is pretty cool. I'm... It probably wasn't intentional, but it sounds a lot like it. Okay, come on. Super Saiyan powers! Teleportation! Nice, I can use that to dodge stuff. Okay, this is just like that other Ivasaur, Bulbasaur guy, where he's like, I'm gonna spawn my children, and then I'm going to heal up while my children spawn. Okay, slight dodge, slight dodges. I'm almost, actually, I'm almost dead, and this thing's not taking any damage. Look at this. It's insane. It's it's not, like, doing anything. It's just kind of blinking whenever I hit it. Hopefully. 
there's some weakness, although it doesn't appear to be. Like, oh boy, I took a lot of fire to the face. Oh boy. This is not looking good. Come on. Dodge. Aw, oh, man. Sheesh. The, the game, like, ramped up in difficulty a lot. Suddenly, it's just like, hey, I am suddenly very, very hard to do. You will not be able to defeat me. Ow. Ah. Whoa, I, I haven't played many games like this before, so I guess that's... Ah, fire. I guess that's my bad. But still, you have to agree, it suddenly got a lot harder. Let's just teleport through those things. Teleport through. Okay, that's that's good. I'm about dead, and this thing isn't. Ow. Ow. Probably one more hit, and I will die. And she's at half health. Okay, come on, deal more damage, please. Please deal more damage. Ow. Oh, boy. Ow. Man! That really stinks. Well, let's see if I can upgrade anything before I give this another shot. Uh, Echo Damage. Yes, sign me up. <laughs> yes, please, do that. Okay, hopefully this will this will help things. Wait, whoa, oh, wow, that's her weakness. I just figured out her weakness. If you shoot the flamethrowers, they'll burn her. Look at that, look at that, I'm turning them, I'm turning them. Oh, wow, I didn't figure that out. Oh, wow, that makes things a lot easier. Now I feel incredibly stupid. And the enemies had given me a hint. They're like, yeah, the, I, I got burnt earlier and it really hurt. Like, you don't even know. Whoa, again? Where are all these things coming from? I guess you're on the right track, at least. You've acquired the Midnight Gong. When in use, you can suck energy right out of your opponents. Just get close enough and you'll automatically vamp everything. Okay, so there is a weakness to her. Okay, that was kind of funny because, like, I was failing a lot. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the next level. We have time. I haven't been recording for that long, and I've probably cut some stuff out during that battle. So let's jump into the, the next level, Trinity. After defeating the monolith Moskubara, which I failed against, Gongbat continues his prowl towards saving his kind. What could Hark have planned? And may Gongbat finally meet his maker? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z, and now we're in the city, or whatever this place is. It's like a city factory. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me a lot of Spyro. Where you're in the monkey levels in the Game Boy? Reminds me a lot of that. This bug is kind of annoying. There's homing attacks. A lot of homing attacks. Also, who switched me back over to Carnage? I don't want to be on Carnage. I want to be in that new, that new mode. Oh boy, I can't really do this though. Can you please die? Please. You're doing a lot of damage. Ow, ow, wow, this guy, I have not killed one enemy yet. Wow. Here we are again. One last chance, rodent. We can end this, quick and easy. Just power, just power one simple, mass murdering, planet detonating, surprisingly stylish, death machine of destruction. For me? Nope. Or nope? Uh, hey boss, why exactly do we need the bat again? My uncle bought a new power cell at Murder Mart this summer. Supplies all of his sacrificial needs. It even powers the kitchen. Ugh. How many times do I have to go over this? The government seizes all control over my electronics. Even toasters? Yes, even toasters. One wiring malfunction is in a kid's RC copter. A very small electrical fire, accidentally burned down an orphanage or two, and suddenly you're eternally banned from all power equipment. Sorry boss, won't happen again. Just, uh, just get the bat. Okay. Can I, now I will switch to the midnight power. Whoa, you're, you're like a, a guy. Oh boy. Well, that was actually pretty easy. He died. Let's try my midnight powers. Midnight powers, a ho. Whoa, I'm giant huge. I'm not sure, exactly sure how I should be using this power. 
Oh wait, no, no, if I just shoot things, I absorb their life. That is cool. Okay. I, I got it now. My midnight powers are almost back, so I can heal myself. That's a much welcome power. Heal me, heal me, oh, vampiric powers. Heal my power. Oh, I have to be close to them, okay. So it comes with a drawback. Okay, let's let's go ahead and pa to pause time real quick and try upgrading another thing. I'm thinking I'm going to upgrade. Let's upgrade my gong charge because that effectively gives me health and then echo speed. Good. Okay, this this guy again. He was annoying last time and he's annoying this time. Like, I'm, it's really hard to dodge his attacks. I just have to kind of be quick about it. Okay, now let's activate our powers, suck out some of his health, and kill him. Wait, did I die? I totally died. Those birds, man, they, they swarmed me. Got his life. Ow. So, thought. With those birds, I just should kind of stay in one place, and they'll pass me by. Whoa, he's a machine gun. He has a machine gun. He has a machine gun. Whoa, bro. Calm down. Calm down. My goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's no whoa. I'm sorry. But did you just suddenly, like, kill me? Look at that. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Run, 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 run. You know, teleportation powers would probably be pretty nice right now. Get there. Okay. I have, I have them up. And he's dead. Just just as soon as I prepare for him, he's dead. Lasers. So much going on right now. Let's just activate my atomic power. And teleport around. Good, he's dead. And the magical limousine is gone. Whew! This is actually pretty hard. This is really hard. Oh, I'm fighting death. Okay. I'm fighting death. I couldn't help but notice I'm fighting death right now. But he doesn't seem to be that difficult. He's taking a lot of damage. Midnight powers. Whoa. Wow. Okay. He's almost he's about halfway. He's about halfway, but I'm also dead. Ah, those birds. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. No. And it's extremely hard for me to see. I can't even see where I am half the time because I blend in with the background. Ow! It's almost impossible to dodge any of his attacks because he, they're almost instant and they last for a long time. Also, you can never find out where you are because you blend in perfectly with the background. You almost need the, need the teleportation power just so you can dodge some of the attacks. It's insane. I'll get him about to this health and then I will just die explicit, explicitly because he sends bomber birds that will kill me almost instantly and he combos into almost all of his attacks and I can never see where I'm going come on kill him kill him kill him kill him yes wow okay I'm probably gonna be able to finish this level and then end it because I won't be able to do much more like this is getting really difficult I have to fight the bugs and I have to fight the caveman dude I don't even know what to call him anymore while trying to do this and not die, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I am. Ah. Wow. I find the vampiric powers kind of bad because you have to get close up, which means you're going to take an awful lot of damage. So you're ne almost never going to get health out of it. You're just going to probably die. Cage alert. Sure. Yeah, like I'm gonna be able to do that. Cage one. Cage two. Cage three. I actually did it. Wow. And I got a lot of health out of it, full health, and that's enough for me to kill this thing. Come on, kill it. Come on, bug. Yeah, the bug's dead. Of course, now there's some bosses. Oh, boy. I'm probably making this go really long on time, but I'm cutting a lot out, so it's fine. Oh, boy. Man. Atomic, please. Avoid the things. One of them's dead, one of them's dead, and they're both dead. Okay, now there's another boss. Oh boy, he's shooting at me. He's shooting water at me. Shooting the water. So much is going on, I can hardly ever tell. 
Are you tired of being harassed by giant monsters? Have you ever needed that extra pick-me-up in the morning? Cell upgrades not cutting it? Thanks to Meteor Tech, you're in luck. Our highly educated engineers have been working overtime. Now you can get rid of those colossal pests from your life with ease. How so? Try our new Honing Arrows product. That would actually be pretty useful. They automatically target bad behavior and destroy it in seconds. Arrows not cutting it? Try the next step with Gorilla Fist. Sucker punch any foe with the power of Lil Kong. Now word from our sponsor. Wait, I'm fighting him? Oh no, I kind of wanted those magical arrows. Oh boy. He has the rocket launcher. He has the boom launcher. He has the boom launcher. A lot of boom is going on. Too much boom. Attack that. Okay, so I'm supposed to shoot the magical barge and do the thing to hurt him. That's... or die. Wow. I cannot beat this boss. I mean, I have tried maybe five times now, and I just cannot do it, because half the time, I cannot see where I am. Like, look at this. I'm, I'm right here, and you can barely see me against the background. And it's not the Maunder I'm playing, get, playing with. I'm playing with a nice HD Maunder that uh, displays colors rather well. It's just that I can hardly ever see what's going on, and so a lot of the attacks also blend in with the background. It's almost impossible to, to see anything sometimes. Like this attack, amongst everything else that's going on, you cannot see it. And so you're going to be caught into being hit by the most his most powerful attacks. I mean, it's not like I'm bad at video games. I've tried this many, many times now, and it is just not working. So I'm probably going to give it like one more shot, and then I'm going to call it here. Oh, boy. So the strategy behind this boss is... Um, Keeping it at bay, juking most of its shots, and then when it oh boy, when the uh, the magical weapons barge comes up, you shoot the crate on it to hit it with a more powerful attack. I've probably gotten it down to half health before, and that's it, because it's so consistently difficult that you're going to hit everything and you don't see where you are. But I am giving it my best. I'm going to try to get it at least half health before I end it off. Oh boy. You really have to pay attention too, because many times it'll unleash projectiles that um, at the bo very edge of the bottom of the screen, and you have to pay attention because those will blow up and hit you if you don't look at them. While dodging that. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Well, you know what? I gave it my a fair shot. Uh, it is a good game. It's extremely hard, and you have to... You probably have to practice it a lot to be able to see yourself amongst some of these backgrounds. But that is going to be it. I w if I was forced to give this a score, I would... Oh, actually, wow, I've gotten 40% through the story. Okay, so I got, I got a lot done. Um, I would probably give this maybe four stars out of five there are a couple things to improve but if he improved that whole background issue and some of the attacks um not being able to be seen if he fixed that i would feel like i wouldn't have many issues with the game it's a, it's a solid uh side scrolling shooter and he did it he made it very well so that is going to be it for this alpha beta omega i hope you liked my the new name for the series it was formerly uh, game review beta which i felt like it had a negative connotation and also some associations uh, uh with it like game review reviews are just reviews but what i was doing wasn't exactly a review it was me playing a game for the first time and i wanted to remove that connotation and then beta made it sound like i was just playing games that were in beta and I want it to be, I want this series to be something more, where I could play, I don't know, Dokapon Kingdom on here, not because someone asked me to, but because it's a, it's kind of considered a classic and I would want to play it. So, I'm ta I've gotten a couple of requests for more games, so I will be playing them. Uh, Alpha Beta, uh, or sorry, be I, the name's still new to me. Alpha Beta Omega is uh, going to be a little bit more of a regular thing. I want to make more videos. But I'm not going to be binge releasing them. They will still be spaced out, so I don't, I don't run out of fuel in the tank. 
So, I will see you guys next time for another one of my videos. Earthbound, which is the current Let's Play, is being released every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you liked this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, tell me how I could make the next review so that you would like it. And they're not called reviews anymore. They're playthroughs or whatever. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Gutterspeak free video here on PowPlays.